there are many new toolbars designed to optimize the Web 2.0 experience. Simply by being situated on a browser window, a toolbar can suggest actions for the user to take, thereby helping to shape the user's online experience. Take the Web 2.0 toolbar from web2otoolbar.com. The user can quickly bring up virtually every search site and social bookmarking option. Plus, it allows the user to view new postings from every website a Web 2.0 enthusiast could want, with the feeds constantly updated on the toolbar. The user expends almost zero effort and has the best of the net delivered to his doorstep every minute. Now that's a pretty nice cost-benefit ratio. Another cool toolbar is brought to us by StumbleUpon. It tailors the user's experience to his preferences by first asking for the user for some of his areas of interest. And then, when the user hits Stumble, the toolbar takes the user to sites that received a lot of votes by other stumblers with similar interest. It leverages the social bookmarking value of Delicious or Dig, but keeps things moving and reduces the effort by operating from a toolbar. On a stumbled site, the user can seamlessly navigate to other users' comments about the site. Once the user gets to the comments page, suddenly, poof, the toolbar is turned into a social networking site. You can see what interests you and other stumblers share, and then add them as a friend if you want. It takes a pretty influential toolbar to take someone from stumbling aimlessly through the internet to declaring friends with someone on your site. The StumbleUpon toolbar effectively tunnels the user through this experience simply by being a useful resource that remains handy from web page to web page. A toolbar with a good concept behind it is the UNO you know toolbar. The ticker you see displayed here is different for every site you visit because it shows the most popular sites that people either left this site to visit or left to visit this site. This way, people have a constantly updated and socially validated list of suggestions for sites that they might also find interesting. This means that the toolbar is tailoring itself to the immediate interest of the user, not trying to predict what the user would like to see based on a survey given to the user in the past, as is the practice with StumbleUpon. Because users are allowed to vote and stumble upon, the toolbar will generally give you more popular hits. But for those who'd prefer to surf rather than stumble, this toolbar is definitely the way to go. If the user needs a little push, there's always the surprise me button, which, like stumble upon, takes the user to a random but popular website to get them started. The creator of the UNO toolbar should also be commended for creating a toolbar that persistently gets the user's attention by using the movement of the ticker to its advantage. Though one might think this could get annoying, the fact that the toolbar is working cooperatively and specifically towards the user's advantage will make it more likely that the user will adopt this minor intrusion with appreciation. At the end of the day, every one of these toolbars has the ability to leave the user super saturated with all the information and fun he or she can handle. There's no need to worry too much about which one to pick, because they'll all get the job done. And, if you can't make up your mind, use all three in conjunction and never grow bored or ill-informed again.